a Nairobi woman named Theresia Wanjiru, also known as Mathi Wa Angara, was arrested in a sting operation for allegedly selling narcotics. Kenyans took to social media to humorously liken Theresia Wanjiru's situation to the main character of the popular crime series, Queen of the South. Social media users jokingly referred to Mathi Wangara as the Queen of the South, drawing parallels between her situation with that of the main character in the show. At least three suspects have been arrested and 25 sacks of bang seized in a police operation in the Angara area, Nairobi on Tuesday. The bang weighed 466 kilograms and the police also recovered 13 million in cash from the house, DCI boss Mohammed Amin said. Amin said they will treat the money as proceeds of the crime. The money was hidden under the mattress in one of the rooms there. The suspects will be in court Wednesday, he said. The raid was staged by a team of officers from a transnational organized crime unit who raided a store in the Karyoa slums in Gara area owned by a known drug trafficker. Police said they had information the suspects were repackaging the narcotics for distribution in the city. The sacks had arrived in the city from the western part of the country when police staged the raid. Detectives from the anti-narcotics unit joined the probe and took the three suspects into custody for processing. There have been complaints that the area is one of the key distribution centers in the city. Most of the bang that originates in western Kenya and Ethiopia usually ends up in Ngara and Mathare slums for further distribution to other markets. Police said there has been an increase in incidents of seizure of narcotics in the recent past. On August 4, police in Moyale seized 500 kilograms of bang and arrested one suspect in a stealth operation to curtail the trafficking of narcotics in the region. The operation was launched after police received intelligence information that a lorry had been spotted at a thicket at Kate in Moyale loaded with a suspicious consignment. The area is popular with such narcotics originating neighboring Ethiopia. The officers told online community KE that the owner of the apartment where the drugs were found had previously been arrested and arraigned in court in 2022 where she was released after paying a shush 500,000 fine.